I get asked all the time, what is LMI? The acronym for Lenders Mortgage Insurance, LMI is an insurance policy that you pay for to cover your lender in the event that you default on your home loan. Most people know it exists, but not how it works. Hang with me for a little bit today. I'm going to cover what you need to know. Welcome to Adulting, where we cover property and life. My name is Jeremy Shirazi, and I'm your friend in the property business. One of the biggest things I can give you in this video is that LMI is designed to protect the lender and not you. You are paying for it, so they are covered in the event that you default on your mortgage and that they have to sell it at a loss. For example, you lose your job, you default on your loan, and you still owe 400K. In this scenario, the lender would then sell the property to try and recoup their costs. Let's say, for example, they only sell it for $350,000. Unfortunately, this leaves a $50,000 shortfall. Our plan is proceeding as expected. The lender would claim that 50K shortfall from the LMI provider, but that provider of the LMI might actually come to you for compensation of that $50,000. So uh, you, got, uh, you got my money? Many people view LMI as a get out of jail free card. Evidently, this is not the case. Don't confuse LMI for mortgage protection insurance. Mortgage protection insurance is a completely different product that is designed to assist you with mortgage repayments in the event that you fall seriously ill, become incapacitated or unable to work. LMI can also apply when you're refinancing, not just taking out a new loan. I believe it's generally if you have less than 20% equity in the property, similar to having less than a 20% deposit when taking out the loan initially, but do check with your broker because different fees can apply. And a small disclosure here, guys, I'm not a financial advisor, uh, so please take everything I say as a suggestion based on the experience that I have from being in the real estate industry. So I mentioned that brokers can point you towards a bank or a lender with a lower LMI rate. Speaking of which, Different lenders calculate their LMI differently. In some cases, smaller, more specialized banks can actually charge a lot more for LMI. The reason for this is that many of them don't have LMI providers and therefore they self-insure or insure themselves, adding their own risk fee to the LMI charge. So the big mystery, how is LMI calculated? I'm gonna break it down into a few simple steps. So first of all, they work out if you're a normal loan or a low doc. Now, low doc is basically if you are self-employed or your means of income is outside of the traditional scope. They then work out your LVR, so your loan to value ratio and how much that loan is. Now, each lender will have a set of rates which will apply. So whether it be 91%, 92%, 93%, which they'll calculate basically how much your LVR is, how much the total value of the property is, and they'll find the rate which applies to you. What they'll then do is they will times that rate by the amount of your loan to equal figure <laughs> or the basic LMI figure. From there, they'll add stamp duty to that figure. And in, in many cases, that's it. That should be your LMI figure. But in some other cases, and I guess more high risk clients, sometimes they'll add something called LMI premium loadings. Common in the US, it became more, I guess, mainstream in Australia in 2012. And it's really around for high risk clients. So people that are high risk clients might include self-employed, investor, investors, um, people with no genuine savings or people that are refinancing. Check with your broker because not all lenders calculate premium loadings the same. But that's it. That's how LMI is basically calculated. I'll leave some links in the description so you can go through and check out the rates and come up with some rough estimates of what LMI is going to cost. But I would advise leaving it to your broker or your lender to let you know exactly how much it's going to be. So now we know how it's calculated, how is it paid? Well, basically when it comes to establishing a loan and buying a property, during the sale, you'll be paying for the LMI either upfront out of your cash savings or some brokers or lenders may wish to build it into your loan. While building it into your loan sounds attractive, keeping your cash savings for the deposit and to stay in your accounts, it's not always the best course. By doing this, you're adding to the amount of loan, the amount of money that you're borrowing. And let's say, for example, your LMI was $10,000. Over the course of, say, a 30-year loan term, that can equal thousands of dollars of interest repayments, which if you paid cash, you wouldn't have had to pay for it. Also, it may change the loan to value ratio, also slightly increasing the LMIs. Most importantly, how do I avoid LMI? Well, the simple answer is have a 20% or larger deposit. So that way your LVR is 80% or less. Failing that, at the time of filming this video, there was the first home loan deposit scheme, which has come out in Australia, but they're only doing 
basically 10,000 grants Australia wide, the government will cover the LMI for you. Now you do have to qualify for this. I've been running through a little bit more of this on my Facebook live streams, which I do every Thursday. I'll leave a link in the description. So feel free to check that out and uh, follow us on Facebook and feel free to jump in when I'm live and ask me any questions that you have in relation to this or anything property related. Most importantly, use a good broker that knows your circumstances and can pick a lender that will favor your circumstances. This in the long term could save you thousands of dollars in fees, LMI, and in interest repayment. Well, there you have it. You now know how LMI works, how it's calculated, when you pay it, and how best to avoid it. So I hope you've gotten some value out of this video and it makes life a little bit easier when you're looking to buy your next property. Please share it with someone else that you know that might get value out of this video. And also remember to subscribe, like, hit the bell so you see my future content. Thank you again, and I look forward to seeing you next time. I can take harsh criticism, perhaps, or I might cry live, which would be even more fun. Well, as you remember as a kid, and you were you had school holidays, and you thought, man, it's only two weeks. I've got two weeks, and that's it, to go out and ride my bike and play video games. And this is good. Now people are chatting. You might even feel the chat box by the end of this. And there's still people that are here that have been here the whole time going, yes, draw prize. I want to see I'm the winner. Straight after you draw, I'm leaving. I'm never watching this again. And the winner is... Let's see if you can actually see that. And my absolutely horrible handwriting is going to come up. There's like a five second delay for me. This bad boy is yours. Oh, a little wow. A little wow face. How's that? Mmm, that's good, OJ.